Hello, welcome back to The Young Voter. Today, we're going to discuss the state of the Senate race in West Virginia, where popular governor Joe Manchin is facing off against GOP challenger John Racy. Now, this race appeared at the start of the election season um, to be a blowout for um, Mr. Manchin, the governor, who's very popular. Um, it's a special election uh, filling the uh, seat of former Senator Robert Byrd. And um, right now, the race is tightened uh, severely, and Racy appears to be leading in certain polls. Now, why did this happen? Well, John Racy uh, broadcast some ads and gave some speeches that featured one key thing. He said over and over again, um, like a mantra, that Joe Manchin is going to be a rubber stamp uh, for Senator Obama's policies. Now, since then, a lot of other Republican challengers um, around the country have attacked the Democratic incumbents uh, in the Senate and House races um, by saying that these candidates are just going to be rubber stamp for um, Senator Obama's policies, especially in conservative districts. They're using that as a tactic. Now, why? Um, West Virginia is generally a more conservative state. Um, Barack Obama in 2008 lost the state um, by about 10 points to John McCain. And before that, Kerry lost it. Um, and it's a pretty conservative state, though it has in the past uh, voted with Democrats uh, historically uh, throughout the uh, 20th century. Um, Bill Clinton carried it in both uh, 92 and 96. And a lot of Democratic um, presidents um, and candidates for the presidency have carried the state. Now, what's the deal? Well, West Virginians are conservative socially, but generally they're economically, I wouldn't say liberal, but they're, they're unionized. It's one of the most heavily unionized states in uh, the country. And generally Democrats have done well by being strong on the union vote. Um, getting the union vote out and being strong on unions um, in the state. Now, apparently, Racy is trying to push his agenda by uh, attacking President Obama because Obama is not very popular in the state. Uh, he's even less popular uh, than he was when um, he was elected in 2008. So, what does Racy said? Again, the rubber stamp um, that Joe Manchin would be. Uh, despite being a popular governor, uh, extremely popular governor. A lot of people in the state said that, yes, I, I love what Joe Manchin has done for the state as governor, but I'm afraid that in the Senate he's going to be a rubber stamp for um, Barack Obama's policies, um, which in West Virginia specifically um, have come under fire for his environmental um, positions, especially cap and trade, um, which is capping emissions um, that companies can um, emit into the air, uh, carbon emissions. And West Virginia is a big state um, in coal power, a lot of mines. So that's been rather unpopular. Also, the stimulus package and healthcare has been unpopular. So, what has Manchin done in the past few days to try to close the gap? Well, there's been an ad, um, the link to which you'll find in this video description, that has elicited a few laughs um, around the country. Uh, in it, Joe Manchin is basically loading a rifle and then firing it. And that's not very, that's not particularly uh, surprising or scandalous. I mean, it's a conservative state. Um, Indiati talks about being endorsed by the NRA, um, or at least not endorsed by the NRA, but he has a good um, NRA rating. Um, you know, being distancing himself from Obamacare, um, stimulus package, etc. But at the end of it, he takes the gun, uh, the rifle, and he shoots it um, at President Obama's cap and trade bill, literally. And it shows the, the camera fans to the, um, the cap and trade bill and zooms in, and there's a bullet hole through the cap and trade bill. So Joe Manchin really wants to prove that he's against cap and trade, 100%. And he's fighting back against Racy um, for this, um, for this, not uh, for this for being elected, to be, try to be elected. So it's, perhaps it's a very funny uh, video. I mean, it's, it has an ad. I mean, it's pretty dramatic. Um, and people have drawn parallels. 
uh, to the 88 Dukakis ad, in which Dukakis was in a tank, um, and you know, he was made fun of it, uh, he was made fun of for it. Uh, in this case, it doesn't seem like Manchin is being made fun of. I mean, it's a conservative state, uh, gun rights activists are prominent in the state. He seems to be getting positive feedback.